Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own glide hacks for Minecraft Windows 10 Edition. So first you're going to want to start Minecraft and then start Cheat Engine. Come up here, hit the Processes tab, and open Minecraft.Windows.exe and make sure it actually says that at the top here. Now we're going to want to go into a world and scan for our Y position. So that's going to be a float and make sure the symbol values only box is checked. So if you look at the coordinates display here, you'll notice that our Y coordinate is 3. So if I scan for 3, and then I move up here, and now it's 4. So I can scan for 4. If I come up here, it should be 5. So I can scan for 5. And you can press enter a few times, and now we have two values left. And then now we're going to want to find out which one of these is the right value. So we need to freeze one at a time until we can't jump anymore. So if we freeze this one, I can still jump, so it's not this one. If I freeze this one, I can't jump, so that means we know it's the right one. Now we can right-click this and browse the memory region. Right-click here again, display type, and change it to float. And now we're going to want to find our y velocity, which is positive when we're moving up, negative when we're moving down, and around zero if we're standing on the ground. So I'm going to jump here, and I want you to watch the values that turn red when they jump. I think this one is the y velocity, because it matches my description, so I'm going to add it to the address list. And then if I freeze this value, it makes my movement a bit weird, so that means I know it's the right one. And then now, we can right-click and find out what writes to this address. And then we can see that there is a move and two mov ss. It's, uh, the gravity process for this game is mov ss, so it's one of these. So I'm gonna try the first one first, and if I right-click and replace with code that does nothing, the right process will make me just fly up when I press the spacebar and jump. So if I do that, yes, I do fly up. If I restore with original code, it should make me fall back down like I just did. So we know that this is the right process. So we press Tools, and then Auto Assemble, and we can close this by the way. Press Template, press Full Injection, and then we have our code here. So we could just make it force this value, to be a slight decrease. However, that makes it so we can't jump. In order to fix that problem, we can copy this section. And then we can name this something new, like glide. And I'm gonna change this glide code. So, here we have two sections. And we come up here to new mem. And we're going to want to use uh, CMP, which compares. So if we take this, and then float 0, and then if it's less than 0, then we go to glide. Otherwise, we execute the normal code. Assign. And as you can see, we have fully functioning glide. I can jump up, and I glide back down. You can also change this value to something else. Like, if you want to glide even slower, you can make it 0 0.01. And when you check this box, you fall down really slowly. Uh, I hope you guys like this video, I hope it helped you, and, uh, yeah, uh, have a nice day.